In matters of observation chance favors only the prepared mind. Chance favors those who are prepared. There is no such thing as applied science. Only the application of pure science. If you suppress laboratories, physical science will be stricken with barrenness and death. Worship the spirit of criticism. The only thing that can bring joy is work. In the realm of scientific observation, luck is granted only to those who are prepared. One must not assume that an understanding of science is present in those who borrow the language. These are the living springs of great thoughts and great actions. Everything grows clear in the reflections from the infinite. I give them experiments and they respond with speeches. Chance favors a prepared mind. Nothing is lost and nothing is created in the operations of art as those of nature. Never will the doctrine of spontaneous generation recover from the mortal blow struck by this simple experiment. In good philosophy, the word cause ought to be reserved to the single divine impulse that has formed the universe. It would seem to me that I was committing a theft if I were to let one day go by without doing some work. I am on the edge of mysteries and the veil is getting thinner and thinner. In the fields of observation chance favors only those minds which are prepared. To bring oneself to believe in a truth that has just dawned upon one is the first step towards progress. To persuade others is the second. Science advances through tentative answers to a series of more and more subtle questions which reach deeper and deeper into the essence of natural phenomena. Science proceeds by successive answers to questions more and more subtle coming nearer and nearer to the very essence of phenomena. The artificial products do not have any molecular dissymmetry, and I could not indicate the existence of a more profound separation between the products born under the influence of life and all the others. The grandeur of the acts of men are measured by the inspiration from which they spring. The nights seem to me too long. I am often scolded by Madame Pasteur, but I tell her I shall lead her to fame. As in the experimental sciences, truth cannot be distinguished from error as long as firm principles have not been established through the rigorous observation of facts. Science belongs to no one country. Worship the spirit of criticism. If reduced to itself it is not an awakener of ideas or a stimulant to great things. But, without it, everything is fallible. It always has the last word. Work usually follows will. 
Science knows no country because it is the light that illuminates the world. You have not succeeded in your experiments. That is all there is to it. Analogy cannot serve as proof. The grandeur of the acts of men are measured by the inspiration from which they spring. Happy is he who bears a God within. Without theory, practice is but routine born of habit. Theory alone can bring forth and develop the spirit of inventions. Wine is the healthiest and most health-giving of drinks. The universe is asymmetric and I am persuaded that life, as it is known to us, is a direct result of the asymmetry of the universe or of its indirect consequences. The universe is asymmetric. Do not promote what you can't explain, simplify, and prove early. There does not exist a category of science, to which one can give the name applied science. There are sciences and the applications of science, bound together as the fruit of the tree which bears it. Did you ever observe to whom the accidents happen? Chance favors only the prepared mind. The greatest disorder of the mind is to let will direct it. When one works and imagines and dreams of nothing else than the search for answers that God has posed, it is difficult to be so still. There is a time in every man's life when he looks to his God, when he looks at his life, when he wonders how he will be remembered.